Hi, I'm Chris. I'm a medical doctor. I'd like to summarize a book for you. Think yourself rich. Use the power of your subconscious mind to find true wealth by Joseph Murphy. This book's written by a counselor and there are fairly extensive religious undertones. Main point is, is if your dominant conviction is that you're entitled to all the good things in life, such as health, wealth, love, and an abundant life, you will experience these things accordingly. On the other hand, if you feel that you're destined to be poor and that the good things in life are not for you, you're placing yourself in a cycle of frustration, lack, and self-imposed limits. So remember, your thoughts have power. They're creative. Every thought that you initiate manifests itself, except if it's neutralized by more powerful thoughts of greater intensity. So it suggests that you follow this procedure so you'd never, ever feel the desire or want for more money. First, reason it out in your mind that God or the life principle is the source of the universe and the galaxies in space and everything you see, whether it's the stars in the sky, the mountains, the lakes, these were all placed by God and therefore that's the wealth of life. And it's for him because he's created everything, including a blade of grass. Decide now to engrave in your subconscious mind the idea of wealth. Ideas are conveyed to the subconscious mind by repetition, faith and expectancy. Repeat the following affirmation five minutes every morning. I am now writing to my subconscious mind the idea of God's wealth. God is the source of my supply and my needs are met but every moment and I thank God for circulating these into my to me to experience when thoughts of lack come to you just such as I can't afford this or I can't pay that bill never finish a negative statement about finances immediately affirm your mind that God is my instant and everlasting supply and my bill will be paid so look upon money as God's idea circulating around nations in which um, you can maintain economic and health of others claim that money is circulating to you and your subconscious mind will help it come to you whatever you do don't think of money as a bad thing develop if needed a new attitude towards money realizing that you should be richly compensated for the work that you do attitude is everything this book mentions that uh, somebody who was recently divorced and he said well it's my own fault I guess I'm just not very interesting neither is my life I go to work go to the gym I get up I do the same thing and the book as a nice challenge to this person. He says, well, if this was a computer doing the same thing, what would you do? You'd reprogram it so it gives different output and outlines that with different self-talk this person gives themselves, they then can develop what they perceive as a more interest in life and more friendships. You really need to just trust in the infinite intelligence of your subconscious mind. To aid visualization, you can try a few things. Um, you can directly perceive something that's independent of any reasoning process. So your intuition would play a part, and that's different from reasoning, in that if you're thinking about something, that's not your intuition. Your intuition is your immediate thoughts that can be helpful. So when you're thinking, about the conscious mind we, we need to think well that's the reasoning analytic mind and there's a, a subjective intuition 
which is spontaneous and trying to learn to listen to your intuition and use it. So you can't always sum up, sum up your intuition, but if it, so you can't just demand it to be there, but when it's there, consider it, you may actually need it at that point. So I'll finish this summary with an example of the religious undertones included in this book in which this would be something you would repeat to yourself to boost your subconscious mind. I am unique. There is no one in all the world like me because God never repeats himself. God is my father and I am his child. God loves me and cares for me and any time I am prone to criticize, find fault with myself, I will immediately firm, I exalt God in the midst of me. So if that's the kind of thing you want to read, get this book. If not, hope the summary's been helpful. Feel free to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you all next time. Take care.